Hello folks, today we're going to be taking a look at this tank. This is the RR80 earth moving tank and I built it a while ago. Actually I posted it on simpleplanes.com and I recently have been making some much needed modifications. So today we're going to be testing out this new revised version of the tank and I never did a video in the tank anyways so this should be pretty cool. So we're going to go into right into a little challenge here, the Convoy Assault, which is the default combat um, game mode, I guess. So we spawn in, and there's a convoy over there, and you have to go down a long road and reach them and destroy all of them without them destroying you. It's pretty strategic, but let's give it a shot. So the throttle is right here, so we're able to ramp that up and drive and it has rear steering and front steering. Also with some nice beefy suspension, which we'll be testing out right now. Nice little impact. Oh, been into the side of the bridge a little bit there, but it shouldn't collapse. All right, so it's kind of nice in here. Minus the fact that you got a staring into the massive barrel. But other than that, it's pretty nice. We're going to send it at 110 mile an hour off this. Whoops, should have been in orbit here. So it maxes out at... 110 miles an hour, but you can go a little faster if you're going down or uphill. Alright, so it says they are 2.3 miles away. And you can go full throttle. You won't go much faster though, you'll just have more torque, more acceleration power. Lovely turbo sound. And actually, someone from the Symbol Plains community did this symbol, explosive symbol. Because they're actually right inside here, there's a bunch of missiles, but we'll get to that a little later. All right, we're getting close, so let's go to this view. Now we're going to click Activation Group 1, which will give us control of this gun here. And then we're going to click 8, which will make it stop steering when you do this. All right, let's do this. Oh my goodness, I'm bad at it. All right, turn. It's so hard to control two things at once, but... Uh oh, we got shot. We've been shot, our cockpit's coming off. Alright, let's get out of here quick before they kill us the rest of the way. Um, okay, well let's retry that. So that wasn't this tank's fault, really. I mean, maybe it was, but it was mostly my fault. I did a terrible job of aiming. The idea is to take out the AA tanks anti-aircraft tanks first because they're the ones that can actually do damage to you.
this time we're going to take a different approach. I'm going to go with a, 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 st a stationary approach. So we're going to stop and wait for him to come to us. We won't be bouncing around and I'll be able to aim much better. We'll get turned and I'll actually I'll put down the jacks, which I haven't mentioned. But this thing definitely has jacks. Okay, now we'll quickly go to this view. You know what? We could even blast them with the big cannon if we really wanted. Because we need to take out the first two AA tanks. What kind of range of motion? Okay, we got some good range of motion. And then the back one. Starting now. Alright, now quickly, um, this guy way back there. Alright, we got him. You know what? We can even go to this view if we wanted. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't even need the big gun. So, this, yeah, this gun's more for taking out ground targets, and it's really good at it. It's efficient, it's effective. But now let's see what happens if you need to make a really long range shot. Alright, so let's say that you want to hit those ships over there, or at least one of them. You can do that. Put down the jacks to stabilize yourself, and now you can adjust the main cannon with... We'll eject that spent shell casing. Okay, so to do this, it's best to zoom out so you can see the arc, and then align it with these and shoot a shot and then go to the shell tracing view and see if we can get a hit that's too high that's way too high so we'll lower that and try again that's too low or maybe not yeah that's too low this one looks promising Beautiful. So now as you can see, we need to move a little further down or over. Boom. Let's see what this shot looks like from this view. Are we going to see it? Boom. <laughs> right there. Beautiful. All right. So that's that ship down. So that thing was 8 point what? Eight, like 8.5 miles. Now they're like 8.7. So that's pretty far away. You can see it shoots out the spent casings. Now, this thing looks super awesome in slow motion. Nice. The shells look a little strange, I will, I will have to admit. But other than that, cool. So, now what happens if you have an aerial threat on this? Or missile attack? Well, you have countermeasure dispensers, so you're covered for missiles. You're just going to need to move a little bit. And for aerial attacks, you have 10 missiles. And so if we can get... Uh, somebody here the distance does not matter with these things because they are highly modified to be the most effective missiles ever for anti-air boom So yeah, as you can see, it's very effective as an AA vehicle and as an anti-tank vehicle and as a and as a mobile artillery vehicle, as we saw from basically destroying that ship from eight miles away. And if that's not enough for you, allow me to demonstrate this. Yes, it can go on land, but 
it can also go in water. If I get the activation groups right, I think it was four. There we go. So if for some reason, say you need to get close to those ships and take them on in person, well now you're a water vessel. Got lights and brake lights. So yeah, most of this build is from the first time I built it, but the, the new cabin design is new, obviously. The minigun is uh, the minigun I built most recently, and I did some other small upgrades to it. All around, I'm pleased with this build and will be posting it shortly to simpleplanes.com. Thank you for watching. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye for now.